filming of these, at least the entire thing, I got the very beginning on film, and I showed you that, and I did quite a bit off camera here, and I thought instead of showing you the whole tutorial, I'm gonna go through this painting in detail and kind of explain and describe what's happening with it. So definitely a different style, um, kind of more just an abstract piece, and okay, so, Hopefully we keep our sun. <laughs> so this this part here is, uh, it's the color art pigment and I just used Liquitex pouring medium to wet it and then added a little bit of GAC 800 to it and got a nice liquid consistency. And I used um, a catalyst wedge and I actually grabbed the squeegee out of my bathroom <laughs> and used the squeegee quite a bit to kind of you know, the initial colors that I put down, I kind of scraped them across. And so that's that color. Um, this green that's running over it is this really beautiful color by Charvin called Green Anise. It's gorgeous. And then the blue is also a pigment and it's a color art pigment. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and list some of these colors below and actually I'm gonna grab them, hold on. Okay, so here's the pigments I used. This color art pink lemonade, it's that color. I used their lime squeeze and that's how I got some of these undertones. And then the Payne's gray was what I used here and you can see the beautiful shine and iridescence. So what I'm discovering about these pigments and what I like about them so much is that when you put them into a pouring medium, uh, they're wonderful for a thicker paint as well, for blooms and whatnot, but it almost turns into like this beautiful liquid paint that to me kind of reminds me of using like a golden fluid color or even like a, like a um, acrylic ink. Um, they're really, really cool. Um, and then, you know, some of these these hues in here, I started with uh, an Amsterdam acrylic ink, and this one is just a nice light rose color. And then I added some raw sienna to it to get this really pretty earthy flesh color. So as a whole, you know, we've got a lot of different things going on. Um, down here, this is like a Charvin Indigo that I also used uh, a really nice pouring medium, just the, like the Liquitex and GAC 800 and, and water, and I got it nice and thin. And then, you know, there's these kind of iridescent moments happening throughout the painting, and that's all golden fluid, high flow, iridescent pearl. And then what's really cool here is some of this blending that happened. So I use like the Color Art Spicy Apricot, uh, this one. And, I, and then I had some GAC Magic, which is um, a recipe inspired by, or really created by Melly D. And it's a satin enamel, the Decort satin enamel mixed with um, GAC 800 and water, really, that's all it is. Uh, and it's a wonderful mixture. Oh, and titanium white by Golden Fluid. So all these nice white moments that are happening, that's all that GAC magic. And I just, I had it in a squirt bottle and I added some here uh, at the beginning and then I added some later. And as you can see, it kind of picked up some of that pigment and blended with it. So it's not just this like block of white, like up here, I added some of it and it picked up that beautiful magenta up into the white. So it gives for a really pretty effect. And then this green color I adore. I'm really in love with it. It's the Anise Green by Charvin. These can be found at Jerry's Artorama. And I kind of used that as a little bit of a wash over the top of some different sections. And I kind of, what I did is I kind of mirrored it in a way, you know, there's like similar sections in each painting, but they're not, they don't really match. They kind of play together, but they're not 
a mirror image of each other by any means. And, and then some of these lines that you see through here is just a oil pastel and just kind of using a few different colors of oil pastel that kind of play off the painting a little bit. Like here's some blue pastel running through here. And then I actually went and took a charcoal pencil. Kind of comes off on your fingers still. I have not sealed this quite yet. And brought some of the charcoal pencil in as well, which kind of gives this like a little bit of pencil kind of organic look to it. And then this is copper, iridescent copper, golden high flow. And as you can see, the high flow, you know, it likes to kind of do its own thing. It kind of spreads out um, and fractals a little bit. See if we can get some fractaling. I actually kind of, there's a little bit in there. It's really a pretty magical paint. So this was just, you know, playing with, um, and then here's some, this is the GAC Magic and how it picked up the spicy apricot pigment and kind of blended and just played really nicely to give, you know, this really beautiful blending and bleeding effect that I've been playing with in some of my other art. There's my signature down at the bottom of the right piece that's on the right. And then, I, you know, bringing the GAC magic in around here just to give it some kind of interest and some definition. And then down here is the first layer of paint that went down, which was mainly that beige colored acrylic ink and a little bit of like Payne's gray. And you guys saw some of that process in the beginning of the video, so. I hope this sparks some ideas. Um, I'm gonna actually resin these and pop them into a couple white floating frames. Um, I think they're gonna be called boomerang. <laughs> my um, my mother-in-law was down here looking at them and she she saw she said boomerang for some reason. I was like, that's cool, because they you kind of go back and forth looking at the two of them and there's just some harmony going on and yeah it was a really fun little abstract diptych so i hope you like it and i'll show you the end results here shortly